You've been successful out in the field. You got a deer, you've got an elk, you've got a moose. What are you gonna do with them? Today, I'm gonna show you how to make breaded elk back straps. So here's a list of the ingredients. First is the wet ingredients, which is gonna be our milk and our eggs. The dry ingredients consists of a package of panko Italian flavored breadcrumbs, about a cup and a half of flour, two tablespoons of pepper, a half a tablespoon of salt, and three tablespoons of garlic powder. And of course, lastly, back straps. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and mix our eggs with our milk. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna whisk that together just so I get the eggs and the milk all stirred up there. Next step is gonna be our dry ingredients. Now you're gonna want a little bit of a deeper pan or a bowl to put your dry ingredients in only because as you're flipping the stuff around and the meat in there, you don't want it to be spilling out. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna grab my panko and I'm gonna dump that in the bowl. Then we're gonna take the flour and do the same thing. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add the last three ingredients, the pepper, the salt, and the garlic powder. Okay, so now we're to the cutting board where we have our back straps at it. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my cold steel fillet knife and I'm gonna make sure that I remove all of the silver skin from that muscle. Okay, so one of the keys to making breaded back straps to make it so they're not chewy is you want them really thin. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and you're gonna make it like maybe a quarter inch and you're just gonna, you wanna make sure you go against the grain because you wanna make sure that once you cut it, that once you cook this up, it's gonna be super easy to bite into and chew. If I cut it with the grain, it's gonna be more like jerky meat and we don't wanna do that. Okay, so we went ahead, we sliced our elk back straps thin. We have our liquid egg and milk mixture here and then we have our panko flour and dry ingredients. Now we're gonna go ahead and start preparing them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take each piece of back strap, dip it into the egg and milk mixture and then into the panko mixture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go like that. So now that we have it breaded, we're gonna take it over to the frying pan. Okay, so everyone fries food up a little bit differently than other people, right? So listen, this is what I'm doing is I just put some olive oil in the pan along with some butter. I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. I'll throw some onions in and then we'll go ahead and throw the breaded straps in here. So what I normally do is I go ahead and I put them in the frying pan and I wait for some of those natural juices to start coming up through the top on the side that's still dry in the frying pan here. What you're gonna do is you want it to go ahead and do that. That way it's gonna get crispier on the bottom and as soon as those juices come through, go ahead and flip it. They do not take long and you do not wanna overcook wild game, just saying. So you can see it's starting to get the juice on the top of it. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it just like that. And we'll let them cook for a couple more minutes and then we'll take them off and put them on a plate. Mashed potatoes is one of our favorites to have with our breaded back straps. So we have mashed potatoes. We have a beautiful back strap right there, except for if I put this on the table and Ralph gets it, he's gonna want two. And the other thing we do is we like to make a peppercorn sauce, you know, a basic, pepper gravy, pour it over. Might need a little more than that. There we go. Now let's go see. Okay, and of course I have to have my food taster. Ralph? Hmm. Okay, one of his favorite meals, breaded back straps. Give it a whirl. Let me know what you think. Is it okay? Should everyone go ahead and make it? Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah? Mm. It's good? Mm hmm Okay. Are you gonna save any for me? No. Oh, that's okay, I have more to make. I'm gonna go get busy, you just keep eating. Mm. 